And in your masks, um, you were obviously influenced by different things that sometimes might seem even a bit contradictory, like tribal art and then, on the other hand, horror movies, science fiction, a uh, bit of expressionism. Is there uh, some conceptual link bet between all those influences or the choice is rather personal? I think it's more personal. And um, <coughs> the sort of uh, wanting to make, um, like, interesting kind of heads and uh, and as you said they are coming from different sources you know but then when you actually uh, think about it um, if you look at comic books comic book art or you know um, Japanese anime or um, horror movies or any of these they are also influenced by the same things they're also looking back uh, at things or at you know, because the people that work on these are incredibly talented, um, and they're very good at how you know they're looking at Renaissance art, they're looking at perspective, they're looking at all this stuff, and they're really. I mean, when you look at anime, it's like intense. You know, how they compose um, each frame. You know, it's not simple, and um, so it is a mixture of uh, all these different things, and. Um, because I, I think that, you know, that makes it more interesting. And that's why we're having, you know, we can keep talking about it. <laughs> um, I think in the fact that you are saying that you're very, very individual, that you don't like groups and everything, I think we, we also feel that in the fact that contemporary sculpture is very more abstract and that you really stay in figuration, so how important is that this relation to figuration and you really you didn't you ever went to the abstract way and there is a, I mean there are there is a very strong abstract element in my work uh, but it's uh, it's integrated with the figurative mm -hmm. especially yeah, when I uh, if I show you the the pieces that are in the collection mm -hmm. there are elements where you know because when you walk around them, then you see different views, and certain views are just a uh, assemblage of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, material. And then other views have more of, like, you know, a representational side. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, yeah, I mean, they're not mm -hmm. entirely abstract, but whenever that's necessary, I do that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it depends, you know. Mm -hmm. But I like to have both. Okay. But I think in the end, it comes under the um, the realm of figura figurative sculpture. Yeah. But it's it's not yeah. strictly figurative. Mm. Yes, it's, I, I suppose if the, it's kind of half half uh, abstraction, and on one side it's figurative, then people will uh, uh, gravitate towards the figurative. They will kind of make a circle, and oh, here it doesn't make sense. Let's see if we can find a place where it makes sense, and then they come to the figurative and they say, oh, this is the right side to look at it. Yeah, perhaps. I mean yeah. that all <laughs> is up to the indi you know individual person how what they respond yeah. to. Like I mean, different people will obviously. Mm. Mm you know what they are used to seeing or mm -hmm. how they are how they are used <coughs> to looking at stuff mm -hmm. they will respond to it you know otherwise uh, they will think of something else mm -hmm. you know but that's kind of nice i mean it's fine mm -hmm. you know it's like mm -hmm. uh, it shouldn't be so that you know you can't allow your mind to wander mm -hmm. let let it go a little bit <laughs> now the complexity that allows us to keep talking about your work do you think that that um, is a creation to find interest and humour that you've um, taken part in? Or do you think it reflects you as an artist or society or humanity? With this, Do you observe complexity in, in the world and then your art reflects it? Or have you deliberately created a complexity to create an interest and, and spark this discussion? No, I, I think that, you know, it is, uh, um, it comes with time, you know, you, you start out with certain things and I mean, I, I, I mean, when I think about how, what I was doing, say, 15 years ago to now and it's not that uh, things from them, from that time have, are still existent in the work, 
maybe in a slightly different way, uh, but <coughs> the core things are still there. But you know, obviously, as you mature, um, and also the more experiences you have, they come into like basically uh, your work is like an extension of yourself, unless of course you're thinking about it in a different way where it's all very planned. But I, I don't think of it that way. I mean, uh, for me, it's not like I make bodies of work. It's a continuous body of work. Mm -hmm. So each piece leads to the next piece and to the next piece. And um, um, so, and, and it's not like there's one idea for a few things and then another one for another. <coughs> the ideas flow, and they kind of uh, become more complicated. And other things come into it, because um, a lot of times, if I'm working on uh, things uh, on sculpture, there might be an initial idea of this is what I'm going to do, and uh, I plan it out and start working on it. And then, like halfway through, um, there are certain steps that you take that make it, you suddenly start to see things that are happening in my kind of work because of the nature of the work where you you know, there's a certain freedom. So when it starts to sort of take on or reveal itself to you a little bit, and then you start to see things, so then you can emphasize those more or remove them. It all depends what is necessary for the piece to become, to be um, successful. Because uh, ultimately, it has to look uh, intense. I mean, that's, uh, that's how I approach uh, <coughs> making work. It has to really be uh, knock a knockout piece. You know, I mean, in, I mean it, it, it can be in, di in different ways, but it has to be something intense to look at. Um, so it, it's not about that, well, it doesn't matter what it looks like. In my work, it's very much about what it looks like. Mm. Um, and the ideas are also there. But um, how it's made, how it looks, is as important. And so um, you might, I might begin to see uh, even certain things that hint towards political uh, stuff. But and then I can, you know, it's it's very, it's in my head, you know. So it's not a, a I won't specifically say it, that it's this or that. But if you begin to notice it, then then I will. Um, make it come out more, you know, mm -hmm. make it more obvious uh, up to a point, um, and then balance it out. But uh, it's, it's, it's not uh, like, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 like I said before, it, the work reveals itself to you, because it, at a certain point, it becomes its own thing. Or oh, that's how, for me, it does. <laughs> I'm very curious now. Uh, can you describe for me uh, how how do you feel or how do you act while, while you're working? How do I? Do you act like uh, you you do something calmly or yeah. <laughs> obsessively? Um, yeah, I mean I have a routine. Inside, I you know try to work every mm. day and mm. uh, um, I'm pretty calm, mm. you know. Um, I think, um, yeah, I'm not like. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I don't have mood swings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not. Um, sometimes I like to, uh, you know, just. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much. Mm -hmm. When you begin something, you go uh, through it until it gets yeah. finished, no, or you put it aside, <laughs> and, and comes com comes back for it later. Sometimes, if something is absolutely doesn't work, then mm -hmm. you have to kind of, you know, there's something not fundamentally mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you realize that it's kind of actually stopping you from doing something. So you have to, you know, put it aside. Mm -hmm. And then you can start something else and then go back to it. But usually, uh, I work it out. I work through it and figure out what the problem is if it's not. Uh, and. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a professional, so you know you have to kind of, if you set out to do something, you have to complete it. And uh, it becomes like a, mm -hmm. you know, you do it every day, so 
Um, and unfortunately, like I, I don't have that many distractions, mm -hmm. so you kind of are staying focused, you know, and you just keep uh, um, working. I mean, I, I also spend a lot of time not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes can become lazy, but the mind has to be, uh, you know, it's it's like you're as long as you're not sort of thinking about other things, mm -hmm. because my work sometimes. Um, uh, I spend a lot more a lot more time uh, thinking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like it's so labor intensive, and that I have to kind of, uh, you know, glue so many things together or do. You know, it's not labor intensive work. It can be done really fast. Um, maybe sometimes certain things can happen in a couple of days, which will change the, uh, which will finish everything or make a major uh, statement. You know, but. Uh, um, but a lot of time is just thought spent looking and figuring out uh